Good morning, and it's a bit cold in here, isn't it? Yeah, at, um, I never thought that I would say that here in Singapore. Well, thanks very much for attending the conference. Um, it's a pleasure to be once again in Singapore. And just looking back just 12 months ago when the, the conference um, kicked on, and I remember presenting here, there's a lot to tell about Galan in the last 12 months, and I would like to say there's a lot more to tell in the next 12 months time coming up. So with the usual disclosure, um, I will take you into a bit of a memory lane about Galan. This is Galan in 2019, just before COVID, before you know the world turned upside down. We managed to drill at Ombre Muerto West, and um, we didn't know what we were going into. The only thing that we knew that we were next to live and called Arcadium today. And we will see what we'll have at the time. Well, fast forward five years, or less than five years actually, and this is uh, yesterday. So we are going through our phase one development. You see in the ponds being constructed. You see in the pond number one has already been filled. Pond number two is um, started being filled as well. And what you can see in, in black are the liners being laid down. We expect to finish the laying of liners for uh, pond number two in the next uh, 10 days or two weeks and no longer than that. Um, pond number three, just next to it, it's uh, almost 50% constructed. And the liners will kick on um, there again. So um, what you see in the background, just for reference here, that's a 250-bed camp and the power plant that is just sitting there. So this pond is 2.4 kilometers long. And we're building four of those that are at similar size. And importantly, um, from here until the first half of 2025, we'll be in production, we'll be in cash flow. And we are producing a premium product. We are producing 6% lithium content. And what does it mean? And Joe Laurie call, call it liquid spodumene. If you are familiar with all the spodumene is coming out of Australia, this will be SC13, not SC6. So it's 12.9 to be exact, but I've run the two 13. It's a fantastic high grade. So we got a product that we can transport anywhere that can give us a high premium of um, payability Transport costs are less than half of um, Spodimine. Operating costs, if you are familiar with the Spodimine narrative, will be around $350 a ton for producing our concentrate. So not many Spodimine producers can do that. And importantly, if the wall remains the same way that it is today, at around $15,000 a ton, we'll be making more, uh, we'll making $6,500 a ton margin. So, you know, this is a business and we are here to make money, look after the environment, look after the community, do a bit, but uh, we're going to be sustaining the test of time. And well, now that I've given you a bit of a journey and um, where we at and where we were, I'll tell you a bit more about um, Galan and why it makes it so different. We have today an op a resource update. We've gone from 7.3 million tons of lithium carbon equivalent to 8.3 million tons of lithium carbon equivalent. So that it's around 18% jump in our resource. Grade was maintained and actually was increased. We added a new tenement to the north, that's the Catalinas uh, tenement. And importantly, to the north, grades go higher. So it's a, a gift that keeps on giving. And the, the more that we drill, the more we find, and the more that we see that the strength of our project is fantastic. And I don't want to distract you too much with things, but in a salt flat, grade and variability is really important. If you've got a cube, the distribution of the grade, as long as it's consistent, you know that you're going to get a consistent grade to put into the ponds and the evaporation. If that grade varies in that cube, then you need to start doing a lot of calculation and making sure what you extract from there gives you an average grade that goes into the plant, get, goes into evaporation, and you have the product that you want. I've seen two salt flats or two projects in Argentina and actually in the world today that don't have that problem. The one is the old Livent or Arcadium and us. Great, it is consistent. And that's why we're so confident about the 
capability of Galan to produce what we say we'll do on time, on budget, and we are already a third of our project in, and that's been demonstrated by looking after our money, the cash that we're spending, what are we doing with, with Galan, and the advances that we're making is making good progress. And we've seen the evidence that is in our ponds. Now, the, um, the construction, as I mentioned, is going well, so more to in the, in the presentation. The operating costs are very low, and that's what I was just mentioning in the introduction, $350 equivalent if we were um, producing spodumene, or $3,500 a ton in our phase two, but around the to $4,000 for, for being conservative, a price of $15,000 a ton, payability of a lithium chloride concentrate for being conservative again, use 70%, that leaves you with a, a payability of $10,500 a ton, a cost is $4,000 a ton, therefore $6,500 a ton margin. And that's something that not many companies can do. We've been gifted with, with a high-grade, low-impurity project and allow you to leave this room knowing that Galan, when it comes online, will print money. Now, it, um, I mentioned phase one. Phase one is the smallest one of the four phases of development, and they will have a table showing that next. In phase two, uh, we are already done a DFS, so the engineering is done. Phase two, we have already submitted the permit, and I just came back on uh, last Saturday from Argentina. The discussion and the approach that the Mines Department of Catamarca is giving to all lithium projects is fantastic, and especially with us, because they're seeing what we're doing, we're following every step that we promise it will do, and they want to give us a permit for phase two within the shortest time frame possible within them. What does it mean? We believe that by mid-year, this year, or give or take, we should have construction permits for phase two. Now, the exploration upside remains open. Um, we haven't touched Candelas, and we haven't touched Candelas since 2019. There's an upside there. Grade is not as good as uh, Ombre Muerto West, but uh, the inventory remains untouched. So we'll go eventually there, and we'll, we'll have a remaining upside for, for Galan. Now, no project is a good project if you don't have a team to execute. And when you see this, you see a team that are, has experience of executing. If you see now our releases on project update, you can see the advance that we do month by month, pond by pond. These guys, the executioners, are the same guys that built ponds for SQM for years and years. So this is a small footprint of what they've done. These are the guys that are expert in executing this. And the team that, behind, that Galan has begun, um, behind is pretty much SQM 2.0. So from the execution, from the operation, from the hydrogeology, from the commercial side of things, from people in the ground, we have the experience. And that is something that not many juniors in the leasing sector has. We do have it, and we are gonna demonstrate in time that we can produce and be a cash flow um, positive company in, within the next 12 to 15 months. So with that, where are we located? That's a map of Ombre Muerto West. By the way, this presentation is online. You can download this at your own leisure. And you can see Arcadian in yellow, and that was live to the left of your screen and then live and to the right. If everything goes well, I would like to think that we could come online before Sal de Vida. So that's our, our own goal and that's what we're trying to achieve. Uh, live is doing their own expansion. They got the Phoenix plant. Uh, down to memory lane, what I can tell you is that the lithium revolution started with the Sony Handicams. So 30 years ago, Panasonic made lithium batteries that went into the Sony Handicams, video cameras by the way, and that came from our neighbors, from Phoenix, from Livent. So the history of the salt flat is, no, is not new, to, in lithium is not new to the revolution that we've seen with cars. This is good brine that can com be converted into carbon has been proven for three decades now. Um, needless to say that we have a, a good, great project and we have a large inventory that can give us four phases of development to 60,000 tons. We, ask, we want to crawl before we walk and then we can walk before we run. Importantly, there's a significant upside to Galan. So, 
Don't get stuck with what we are here in phase one. Don't get stuck with um, the short-term things that we need to look at. Just look at Galan for what it can offer in the future, and it's not too far away. Now, the resource update, this is our fourth resource update. I already mentioned, high grade. Uh, we have a significant portion of that intermeshed. What does it mean? It means that uh, this can com be converted into reserves. We have uh, Ombra Marta West directly, phase, so three phases of development you'll see on the table, but we have more than enough to secure a reserve stemming going forward. The reserve stemming for phase two was for 40 years. So this is a multi-generational development. And we are there to make a difference in Catamarca with the community as well and making sure that this works for everyone. Now, the construction update, as I mentioned, the percentages, that, that's all in there. You know, the picture, the big picture you've seen, this is another picture from yesterday as well. You can see how much we're advancing, filling. There's already inventory on point number one. Uh, two weeks ago, it was around 500 tons and counting. The amount of lithium that we put in there, the evaporation that we're experiencing, the level of evaporation and the way that these ponds have been put uh, actually, some of the evaporation rates are better than expected. So hopefully this will continue and it will help for us to start producing lithium chloride concentrate quicker. Now we do have a, a last year we signed a, an agreement with Glencore that's go through the motions. Everyone asking uh, where is it, where is it? All what I can say is that the timing that Glencore walks is a different space timing to us. We want to get things done quicker, their speed is different. If there is a problem, as I mentioned in my previous presentation, we have to tell, we have to announce it. Things are slower than expected, yes, but at the same time, Glenco is a larger company and do things in their own way. We, um, we are not oblivious to the fact that things are taking time. I just want to give a peace of mind that uh, we are thinking at different scenarios. Uh, that's all what I want to say. And Galan is not going to stop one way or another with what we're doing here in Glenco. We do have phase two coming up. We are talking about phase two, not necessarily with Glencoe. We have different parties that are very interested about this. So look, there is a solution for everything. Hard times, yes. Everyone is looking at when is this gonna be done. The funding is probably underpinning the share price, and is, that's very clear. But I, I want you to keep a big picture about Galan because the funding will get resolved. The execution will continue. We'll come in to be a, a producer in 2025 and we are gonna be one of the few independent producers in Argentina. So, um, a little snapshot about our share price and all what I would like to highlight here is we tally held still. We did an SPP, oversubscribed. We thought that we'll get one and a half million dollars. We got four million dollars. Why do we like the compelling numbers about Ombra Muerto West? This translates in the chart that you see behind you you see that Ombra Muerto West will be one of the low end cost producers. And the number that you see in there, all in sustaining costs, it is not optimized. We can move the cost into the left, mainly because the assumption on the study was to use diesel power generation. We move that into solar power and we reduce our operating costs significantly. Importantly, we can say that we are one of the, two, one of the few companies that have go low operating costs, or will have low operating costs and low carbon emissions. And that's important from the ESG, traceability, especially in the US and Europe. Four phases of development that I mentioned going from five to 20 to 40 to 60. Um, there, there's a lot of upside coming up here and uh, this is why Galan can make a difference down the track. About the board, uh, I've got fellow members of the board with me. I'd like to thank them that you know, been so supportive. But uh, this shows that we got a very strong team with Galan. And importantly, Daniel and Claudia, XSQM, and they add a lot of value into Galan and the base in Chile, importantly. The team in Argentina, Juan Carlos Barrera, ex senior VP of operations, and that adds a significant value, and this is reflected in the execution that we're doing. So, last. It's not working. Well, and lastly, Green Bushes, come to see me. We have a booth, and um, thanks very much for your, your attention. Thanks. Sorry, please.